Hello, this is Hope College Sports Information Director Alan Babbitt here with uh, Hope College Men's Men Basketball Coach Greg Mitchell on the eve of the Flying Dutchman's opener over at the uh, Wisconsin Stout Tournament. Coach, you guys got a lot of a praise and attention for your the way you competed against Indiana in that exhibition a couple weeks ago. What have you seen from your team since then as far as its growth and as that is a springboard for you? Well, we put a lot of emphasis on that, that exhibition because we knew how challenging it was going to be. And uh, I think any exhibition, any early scrimmage game, you want to see what you take away from it. And I thought we took away um, a great deal. Number one, that, that you know, if we're unified and we're competitive and we're passionate, we can be a pretty decent basketball team. Um, so, so with that, we've tried to ramp up you know, what we expect out of our guys. We're really trying to be a, a grittier team, especially at the defensive end. I think you know, with this team, our offense was a little bit ahead of our defense. And I thought we competed really well offensively against IU. But what I really was excited with was how tough we played the defensive end, despite some of our size disadvantages. So we've tried to piggyback off of that and really try to ramp up our toughness, our grit, our passion. Um, you know, so the shots aren't falling, we can still kind of control uh, things at the defensive end. So that's been our, our biggest focus uh, since IU. Two captains leading that charge in Harrison Blackledge and Chad Carlson. What have you seen uh, that they brought to the team and what are you expecting from them this season? Well, I, I honestly think when you, you know, when you, when you picture what a captain can do for a team, um, I think we've got two guys that really embody that and personify. Uh, they're great leaders on and off the court. They bring it every single day in practice. They're not afraid to uh, offer constructive criticism to their teammates and, and really to themselves. They'll, they'll hold each other accountable. So I think they bring everything to the table. They bring experience. They bring um, accountability. Um, and, and probably the biggest thing they bring is respect. Their teammates love them. I mean, they, they embody what a hope captain should be about. So we expect both of them to do great things for us. Uh, we need Chad to, to be just a, a rock solid perimeter shooter and, and kind of a, a tempo controller. And Harris has just got to bring his hard hat every night. Uh, he's off to a great start. And I think he can have a, a big time season uh, both inside and out. So leadership on and off the floor. And we're getting it from both of them. You start this weekend a very challenging non-league schedule, heading over Wisconsin Stout Tournament play, Wisconsin Stout and Wisconsin River Falls, both of whom have had some impressive wins already this season. Uh, just talk about your non-league schedule and what are you looking to get out of it as a team besides the obvious wins as you look to, once you get to league play in January? Uh, tough, tough schedule with a lot of teams that made the national tournament last year, teams that did really well in their conference, uh, which I think is great. I mean, I've, I think the non-conference season is all about prepping you for your conference season, uh, building up our strength of schedule. So you know, going to Wisconsin, anytime you go to Wisconsin, you know you're going you're gonna to see guys that play hard, that they are, are physical players that play well together. So that will be a great test for us. Long trip. I love the idea of starting on the road because I think it unifies us. Long bus ride, hanging out in the hotel. We've got to really come together and, and just survive in, in some tough, adverse circumstances. And then we'll come right back to the Hall of Fame Classic, two good, good teams right here in West Michigan. Um, and then just, again, the, the challenges continue after that. So 11 really solid non-conference games. I think it's helped us up for an MIAA race. Thanks, Coach. Good luck this weekend.